There was a dog that never left the grave of his master. Everyone was perplexed as to why he stayed there night and day. Dogs whose owners die are usually taken in by family members or sent to shelters to find new permanent homes. The dog in this story, however, had something completely different happen to him. There was a German shepherd named Surgeon who adored everyone he met. He began his career as a police dog and came to have a 35-year-old cop named Ian as his trainer. Ian had only been a law enforcement officer for a few years at the time of their encounter, but he always admired the notion of serving inside the canine division. Ian and Surgeon got along straight away. They soon learned how to react to one another in a variety of circumstances. Together with his handler, Surgeon spent a lot of time outdoors and the beloved police dog even moved into his home. This allowed them to always be near each other in case they were called away to an emergency. As the years progressed, Ian grew to adore Surgeon and treated him like a part of his own family. As a result, they did together everything, from sharing a couch to going on daily walks at the park while the dog wasn't working. He enjoyed playing with everyone they ran across while out walking. One day, Ian was riding in his patrol car when he heard a radio report about a robbery that was taking place nearby. He quickly turned on his sirens and started driving to the site. Ian arrived at the site only to witness the two suspects fleeing on foot. He had already been informed over the wireless that he was chasing a suspect who had tried to loot a neighboring home but was caught by the owner. Determined to pursue and apprehend the culprits, Ian drove after them. The two robbers fled into the bushes just before he got near enough to catch them. He stopped the car and started to pursue them on foot. Ian had been the first person to arrive on the scene because of how near he was to the incident. He had no backup other than Surgeon, who had been barking from the back of the vehicle the entire time they had been pursuing the criminals. Ian knew he should not pursue the two men alone since he had no idea what they might be carrying, and he also did not have any help if he got into trouble. He did not want to allow the two perpetrators to escape, though, since he was afraid they may attack other innocent civilians. Breathing deeply, he unlocked the driver's door and beckoned his dog to follow him into the woods. Surgeon followed their scent into the thick undergrowth once he had recognized their smell. Because he didn't want to take a chance at the dog getting injured, Ian pulled out his rifle and started to stealthily approach the robbers. However, as the policeman entered the small clearing with the criminals, he discovered that just one individual was present. He was beginning to search the area for the second suspect when he suddenly had a severe pain in his side. It turns out that the other guy had crept up next to Ian and stabbed him. Sergeant stormed into the clearing when he sensed his handler's anxiety eager to assist in any way he could. The tenacious dog attacked both of the robbers right away, especially the one who had hurt his owner. He would not release the grip on the injured man's shoulder despite what the offender did to attempt to free himself. The second perpetrator used a big branch to peel the enraged dog off his partner, hurting the dog in the process. Once they were free, the two thieves fled into the forest to avoid the approaching police sirens. Surgeon approached his owner and saw that he was seriously injured. To alert the backup police officer to their location in the woods, the loyal dog started to bark. The wounded police officer and his dog were spotted and immediately sent to the closest hospital and veterinary clinic for treatment. Unfortunately, Ian's wounds were too serious and he died. The loss of his handler caused Surgeon to experience severe sadness and depression. The dog was unsure of how to proceed without Ian and avoided interacting with other people. Ian's family got custody of Surgeon so that he would be around familiar faces and people who loved him for the rest of his life. The police station's whole staff was present to bury Ian on the day of his funeral. Surgeon went to the burial with Ian's family, and as the casket was put into the grave, Surgeon started to yelp and whimper as if he was asking his owner to stand up and hug him like he used to. When the service was over, Ian's family started to head for the car to leave for dinner when Ian's widow, Shelly, discovered that Surgeon was gone. She went in pursuit of the dog, not wishing to lose another cherished member of the family. She eventually discovered him resting close to Ian's grave. Surgeon refused to budge from the grave despite Shelly's best efforts to persuade him to do so. She attempted to grab the dog's collar to persuade him to leave with her, but Sergeant growled at her. It was obvious that nobody would be able to convince him to leave his master's grave that evening. Shelly left the loyal dog at Ian's grave because she thought she could retrieve him the next day. However, Sergeant was just as desperate to be in the cemetery the following morning as he was the day before. The devoted dog remained in place for the next few days. Shelly came back twice per day to ensure the dog had food and water. A man named Sean, one of Ian's fellow police officers, came to the cemetery one day to leave roses and milk for the dog, as Sergeant was still keeping watch over his departed owner. However, while Sergeant was standing at Ian's grave, he suddenly started to snarl. The dog rose for the second time in days and went away from the cemetery toward two voices heard from the street. The two men who had killed Ian and harmed Sergeant were walking up the road. Sean followed the dog, curious to find out what had angered him. 
When Sergeant saw the crooks, he promptly sprang to action and bit one of the unsuspecting men in the thigh. The enraged dog managed to hold the terrified man down by threatening to bite his neck while he screamed in horror and collapsed onto the sidewalk. The second offender attempted to flee, but Sean immediately intercepted him and was able to take him down and arrest him. The two crooks were quickly apprehended and returned to the police precinct. The dog went back to Ian's grave after their arrest. He said one final goodbye to Ian before returning to Sean. The devoted dog appeared to have kept a vow to catch the men who had taken Ian's life. After the offenders were safely imprisoned, Sergeant continued to live his life, occasionally paying a visit to Ian's grave. Many violent people were apprehended as a result of this incredible dog, something that would have made Ian very proud. Comment below and let me know what you think of this story.